All right, let's talk about area of a triangle. So same problem as the last example, but now it says find the area of the triangle. So you may recall from your geometry days that you had a formula for area that looked like this. Area is one half the base times the height. So we could simply use this, no problem. Area is one half the base. I could say that that's my 3.4. The height, that's my B, so that's, what, 6.52. And then if you calculate this out, I already did that somewhere. You could do it on your calculator. Um, I think you get 11.08. And because our units are feet, then the area becomes square feet. Nothing wrong with that formula. Um, it requires you to know um, the base, which in this case is just one side of the triangle and it requires you to know the height, which is the opposite side of the triangle. And because it's a right triangle, those two things are really super convenient. Um, you're not always going to have a right triangle, and so finding height might be a little bit more difficult. All right, so we're going to do it a different way. We're going to use Heron's formula. So Heron's formula says an area of a triangle is equal to big gigantic square root of S and we'll talk about what S means in a minute, times the quantity S minus A, times the quantity S minus B, times the quantity S minus C. And the A, B, and C, well, those are your sides, A, B, and C, which you have, which is really nice. And then S is called the semi-perimeter, and it is one-half the quantity a plus B plus C. So let's do this and see how this works. So let's first find S. Alright, so S is going to be one half of 3.4 plus 6.52 plus 7.35 and when I do that, I get um, somewhere I thought I had that figured out. 8.8, 8, there we go, 8.635. If you're doing this on your calculator in all one keystroke, make sure you have parentheses around all of that before you multiply by the one half. All right, now let's do the area part. And let me just make a little bit more room over here so I don't have to squash it in. Okay. All right. So area. So now the area is going to be equal to this big gigantic square root. So we have 8.635 times 8.635 minus 3.5 and I have no choice but to just continue it on this other line here. 8.635 minus 6.52 and 8.635 minus 7.35. And then make sure, like, like when you're keying this in, your calculator, when you do square root, you automatically get that parenthesis. Don't forget to put another parenthesis on the end. Um, and when I do this, I got 11, I think I got the same thing, 11.08, depending on rounding. All right, now, let me point out something else to you with this 8.635. If you're keying all this in, you could use that feature in your calculator, second answer. And let's do that a second. Let me show you how that works. Alright, so we have square root, and oops, and I have to do second answer, I guess I need the sum of perimeter first. Okay, so we had um, 3.4 plus 6.52 plus 7.35. And then we're all we're 
I could I could actually hit enter if I wanted to, and then I'm going to multiply by uh, 0 0.5, which is the same as one half. Six eight point six three two. All right, now I can just use second answer. So second square root. So I get second answer. Parentheses. Second answer minus three point four. Second answer. You get the idea here. Minus. Two. It just saves you a keystroke or two when you do it this way. Second answer minus what was the next one? Seven point three five. Enter. And do I have them all? I think so. One more parenthesis and eleven point oh eight. Hey, so that worked. Alright, so there is Heron's formula.